Hi everyone, today we're going to look into your person's thoughts towards you today and see what's coming through. So this is from whenever you choose to watch this reading that the messages can apply. Also, this is for all star signs, but if you're here, it can be a sign in itself. So we shall take a look into things. I'm just trying to grab the cards. There we go. And also just wanted to mention a few very brief things as well. Like first of all, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, all the information is always mentioned in the description box below. Um, the, uh, what, what, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, <laughs> private services are listed down below as well. So everything is literally there. So there's um, tarot readings that I offer, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, prayers, healing work, and also um, black magic energy removal and things like that. There's also the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with and you can find the review section for that at the bottom of my website. These items are handmade, meditated with and staged for various areas of your life and uh, there's, you know, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, intention pouches, candles, sage bundles, teas, etc. <laughs> so it's all there. It's all there for you if you wanted to have a little browse or go on a little shopping adventure. But no worries, let's begin. Okay, uh, let's have a look and see your person's thoughts towards you. Here we go. Yeah, literally, literally here we go. Okay, so what I am specifically picking up on here is the Three of Cups is really interesting. It means that today, the day that you're watching this is what I want to say, today they have spoken to someone about you. They've literally told someone about you and they've said something quite nice. I, I don't think this is mean. I don't think this is rude. I don't think that this is... Um, what are some like bad words? Uh, deceptive, deceptive. Yeah, De yeah, deceptive. Um, I don't, I don't think that they have been horrible in what they've said to you. At uh, sorry, said about you to this person at all. There's a very friend-like energy coming through. So I feel like they've been talking to a friend, and they've said some really nice things about you. Things like you know you're really giving and kind and caring and really balanced and just a really good person overall. And I think that the friend has actually been quite supportive in this regard and hasn't said things like, oh no, but you can't do this or you need to focus on yourself or, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, the friend has actually been very, very understanding and kind of been leading them to think more about you. So, you know, when sometimes you talk to someone and they convince you of whatever it is that you're talking about, it's, it's that sort of energy that they're getting from this person where they're actually being quite nice and quite genuine <laughs> and really making them actually think more about you, which is coming through with the Hermit. And we've also got the Strength card, we've got the World card and the Sun. So we've got four major arcanas here, which absolutely goes to show that you're not out of sight, out of mind in any way, shape or form. They are thinking so heavily about you to the point they've literally told somebody about you and you know, the, the world card definitely goes to show here as well that they see you as strong and able and understanding, like you've really got yourself together. And you know what? You may not always feel like you've got yourself together, but they really genuinely believe that you you know who you are and that you you are a really good person. Like they genuinely have good things to say about you and they feel very good about you. And the sun also shows here as well that they do feel physically very um, very drawn to you today as well and they really do think about your body and how you dress so that's definitely something that they're thinking about but they also think about the warmth inside of you and just how good of a person you are inside and that's something that they're starting to realize that the, is that they want stronger quality of people in their life and that's why they're also thinking about you a lot as well. Now the home is ruled by Mercury because it's ruled by Virgo right? Virgo is ruled by Mercury and we're in the Mercury retrograde shadow period as I'm doing this reading. Now, remember I said that this is from when you watch the reading. When you're watching this reading, there could be some kind of Mercury influence that is actually taking place, which is pushing them to want to really think about communicating with you and telling you 
what they have told other people, okay, what they've told this other person here, they will want to then tell you about that. So it's it's really pushing them. So regardless of whenever you're watching this, there's some kind of Mercury influence that is helping things along. And it's not just this other person that they can then, you know, open up to. They can open up to you and other people as well. And this could also be, you know, friends, other friends, and also family members. So the Six of Pentacles here shows that they are definitely telling at least one person, some of you, they could have told multiple people, you know, that they really do like you and that they have an interest towards you. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful because this really does go to show that they see you again as very wholesome. They see you as someone that can be life partner and life partner material. Does that that probably sounds like a really bizarre way of saying it. They basically see you as someone who could be a spouse, someone who could be really loving, very kind, caring, stable, and someone that's really pleasant to live with and be with on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's obviously a very, very powerful thing to think. And well, they think that about you. So, oh my gosh, I just got your affirmation, but I feel like it's a little bit sassy and I don't want it to come across as very egoistic or anything like that. But the thing is, I really don't feel like you're an egotistical person if that makes sense I feel like you have a lot of empathy and kindness in you but I got your affirmation I'm going to tell you what it is and your affirmation is let them think what they want to think I know that sounds really strange but some of you have been in a difficult situation with this person and ultimately you just want them to think what they're thinking I don't think that you want to control their thoughts I don't think here that you want to manipulate their thoughts in any way shape or form but you're just because, you know, they're, they're naturally thinking towards you in this way, you're just thinking, okay, well, keep thinking in that way, keep thinking in that way. So you can affirm that by saying to the universe or when you feel, you know, a little bit maybe lost in this situation or you need more from them, saying to the universe and also comment it down below as well because it is the affirmation of this reading. Let them think what they want to think. Let them do it because the more you just kind of let them do what they're doing, the more it works in your favor and the more they are spiritually doing what you actually behind the scenes want them to do so let them think what they want to think that's it that's it that's it that's your affirmation how many times did i just say that's it <laughs> okay all right I mean, I am just, you know, a human being as well. And when I read, I, I read like this. Um, there's no cuts. There's no, you know, takes. Nothing like that. There's no editing here. I think that it, I mean, you know, if you if you resonate and you like me, then <laughs> good. Uh, if not, it's okay. <laughs> my, my world will not uh, uh, crumble down if, if, uh, if, if that's if you don't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, see? They're rushing to communicate with others about you. Trying to also gain another opinion, I think, but also to validate their own opinion. I think the reason why they're telling others about you is because they also want that to be validated within themselves. They want to feel like they're doing the right thing. Sometimes they feel like they have felt like they were doing the right thing and then they'd done the wrong thing especially in past relationships they felt like so confident with certain things and then boom it came crashing down so it's almost like they like that having that opinion it's not that they're just doing it because it's you it's more so they want to make sure okay so death here goes to show things are clearly transforming in their heart and their mind this is death and rebirth okay so they're really thinking about sort of bringing things uh, oh what's the word bringing things full circle to a degree and the Ace of Cups is beautiful because they literally have opened up to someone else about you. Okay. Sorry if the message is a little repetitive, but I mean, that's that's the main thing that's happened today in regards to you and them and them thinking about you. I guess also taking action in regards to you. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the main thing that's happened. And they're feeling so close to you. They're feeling that you really are the, the one for them, interestingly enough. And we also see here as well that they have been communicating to others. Yep, we see that with the Eight of Wands. See here, Temperance as well. It's only a matter of time before they would tell you about all of this. Patience is a virtue here. They are being very patient. They're not like making extremely strong strides towards you but that's also because they want to make sure they're doing the right thing because in the past they felt like they were doing the right thing and then they like really shot themselves in the foot by difficult situations that kind of happened in their life chariot they shall come to you yeah they're basically they're gearing up to come towards you star here is the rebirth that takes place in the situation they're a little bit more detached but they're still taking action which i think is quite um quite important and the wheel of fortune 
Ooh, what have we got here? Luck and chance. Although I sometimes read this uh, as change. Just sometimes. Sometimes. Just because of how the lettering is, sometimes it looks like change to me and sometimes it looks like chance to me. But today we've got luck, chance and change, okay? I, I saw all three. And yeah, that's what I see here is that um, they're thinking about making a change in their life. They're thinking about doing more towards you, coming towards you. They're thinking that you're actually very lucky in their life and that as, as, as they've known of you at that time, their life only got better and is only getting better because of you, interestingly enough. Yeah. So they're starting to think like, wait a second, maybe you're the, you're the person, you're the, you're the thing, you know, that I need in my life. All right. So this is your reading. This resonates with you. Let me know in the comment section below. Let them think what they want to think. Let them say what they want to say. <laughs> you know, that's just, that's the vibe of this reading and it works in your favor. It really, really does. You're not out of sight, out of mind at all. So this is your reading. If you claim it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. Um, and also take care, everyone. I'll see you all very, very soon. And I have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. I post short readings on there every single day. And the usernames are linked down below. Just make sure you spell my usernames correctly um, because there are some random scammers on those two platforms, which is why, you know, I, I just prefer YouTube because I just feel like YouTube does a bit of a better job at protecting users, especially by putting the little verified tick mark as well. Um, but just keep in mind that in the comment section below, you know, if someone randomly comments on your, um, on your comment and pretends to be me, that's definitely not me unless I have a little tick mark next to my name. Then you will know it's me and it will take you, also if you click on the username, it will take you to my channel, you know, like that's me. <laughs> so just be aware of these things. I know it's crazy. It wasn't like this like two, three years ago on YouTube, like it was pretty clean, but nowadays it is absolutely insane and this affects a lot of readers as well. So I just thought I'd mention that, you know, to keep you safe. All right, so your reading is here. I am done with it and I will see you all uh, well, technically tomorrow, you know, because I, I post this um, type of reading every single day. Bye, everyone.